So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members and management of Speed to Dr. Danish for scoring MCH Surgical Group rank of 10, NEET SS 2022. Congratulations to you. Lord, sir. Thank you. Great. So can we know of, I mean, a brief background of yours from where you started until date? Yes, sir. So I did my undergraduates from NHL Medical College in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. And from there, I went over to MS General Surgery in KM Hospital, Mumbai. And then now here I am. Need okay. So the, the idea of doing an MCH started when? I mean, from day one of joining General Surgery or uh, the decision of the branch came as the course of General Surgery? Yeah, after, after <clears throat> final exams in third year, after that, I continued with my bond. And then it was, at that time, I was still figuring out which branch to pursue. So getting an exposure of everything because there were no rotations in our hospital. Okay. Finally, I started preparing in February this year. So you started, when did you finish actually? I finished, it took me over three months to finish off the courses in Speed App. No, no, your PG course I'm talking about. I, I finished in September. So for the six months. September 21 or 22? 21. Sir. 21, okay. So still we are in September, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so now then after that, what happened? What all you did after that for preparing? I mean, can you give a brief uh, history yeah. on that? So I joined Speed because all, some of my seniors are already joined Speed and got a good rank. So I joined Speed and I, based on your lecture about how to go about that, I finished everything in the Bailey based class, Sebastian based class, all the table based classes and continued with the live lectures. So everything about Bailey and Sebastian that was covered in the app was covered by me. It took me about three months to do that. And with those classes, I also gave the test alongside. There are a lot of questions. Each com completing a paragraph, you have to get every question, right? And once I was through that, I thought, and then it, now to revise, I had calculated that days of revision. It would take seven or eight days to revise everything. So I wanted five revisions, as you said. So I gave about 40 days of those aside and now whatever days I had left with. So I thought these are the days when I'll just give tests and do as many MCQs as I can. Because once I make a mistake in one MCQ, I'm more bound to make the mistake in the same MCQ again and again. And I jotted those down, those MCQs, which I was making a lot of errors in. And for revision on the last week, that's right. So, but it was just like you said, it is like perseverance and continuous and dedicated hard work. So I... Initially, in my first three months, I was also doing my bond period. So I had to give out six to eight hours a day. And once after that, in the last two months, it was about 15 hours a day, every day, with no breaks. So finally landed up in a great yes. score. Yes, sir. very good, sir. Yeah. So, and uh, a meticulous hard work of covering the book in, in, the, in the exam perspective. And yes. revising in the same perspective will closely match to the exam. Yes. And uh, the tables of, say, Savistan and Bailey covered almost more questions in the exam. I mean, I could see exactly word to word from tables they were asked. Yes, they had asked a lot of basic questions, which is all, which is the most we should know about. Mm -hmm. all covered in the app. Mm. Two lines, that's all. Yes, yes. So very, very, very nice. Doctor. How many questions did you attend? I attend, I left about four questions, sir. 146. Yes, sir. Okay. So what is your aim? What is that you wanted to do? I mean, what is the specialty that you like the most? I wanted to pursue uh, surgical gastro. Yes. Now you have all options with you. <laughs> no to choose. And where are you thought about? Uh, where have you thought about? Uh, uh... I thought about GB Pant in first preference. And afterwards, it, it's either SGPJ or Nizam AIG. I'm thinking about it. Still to find. <laughs> so it's going to be a great journey now for you. Hopefully, sir. Thank and uh, in the surgical career. And it will be really, really uh, satisfying. And to close with an MCA surgical gastro that you wanted and you liked. And uh, that will really look upon you very nicely. <laughs> well, thank you sir, for helping us achieve this. So it's very, very nice uh, taking classes for you or all and you and all the students. And it was great experience also for my side. Yes, and sir. And your, your ideology of doing it in MCQ base, it's it's a lot helpful because you tend to remember and recall more in those ways. At the discussion that go on with each MCQ, I mean, you can read the whole book and whole page, but you cannot remember what is there. But when you answer with the MCQ, it 
I think you can remember more. That's what other friends of mine also said. Because uh, it can't be one's own storyline. It has to be on the storyline of the exam. And the storyline of the exam is asked from what is asked in book, what is given in the book. So it, it has to go that way. I mean, it is not just only to satisfy you in the class. At the end of the day, it has to turn into results like this. <laughs> Or else uh, the exercise becomes... Uh, uh waste of time for both ends so <laughs> so because i have given so many exams in my life uh to reach this stage so uh, i know i mean uh, i mean exactly where you should put the uh, correct effort and once you put the correct effort in correct parameters it will give results and uh, so that's that's the reason why i used to do that way so and we i always make want to how to confuse a student in a given question how what they will think when i write the question i will always feel what students will think if i give options like this so what they will choose and i will also in the class wait okay you choose this okay fine <laughs> so that's why examiner also do things so it's a replication on that anyway and i and i wish you all the success and what is the message that you want to give to uh, students who are aspiring for mcs superficiality i want to tell them just that it's a continuous hard work so wherever you are from it's you have to know that subject thoroughly the basics if you are clear on the basics that's where you should not make mistakes in the exam also when the difficult questions the questions about numbers yeah. and and figures will be a part of some 10 20 percent just like you said but if you mistake in the basics then it's lost so go it very thorough clear with your basics that's the most important thing very nice doctor and i wish you a great career as a surgical gastroenterologist you will definitely excel we'll look upon to you keep inspiring like this always best wishes Thank to you. you thank you thank you